Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this set of videos, I'm going to show you how to set up a GIS base map, uh, essentially a, a what I call a wall map or a high quality cartographic map, a large format map, and uh, we're going to start that in AutoCAD, and then I'm also going to show you how to do that in probably Adobe Illustrator we might also we might also do that in Inkscape I'm not sure yet but um, anyways I wanted to walk you guys through that process we're gonna just as an example we're gonna set up a a large format base map for downtown city of Stockton which is where my company Refine Horizons does a lot of its work and uh, we've got to focus on downtown Stockton so it makes sense to put together a base map there and and hopefully we'll do some more videos about uh, some GIS work that we want to do in the city of Stockton. So at any rate, in this first video, we're just going to uh, get our uh, background Bing imagery into AutoCAD Civil 3D and then we're going to just set up a, a really simple title block. And uh, I'm putting this video together for my CAD ninja, Elena, so she can see how to do this. Uh, we've got another project that we need to do this on. All right, so I've got Civil 3D up on the screen, and the first thing we want to do, a new drawing here, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our drawing to make sure that it's in a known projection zone, and that'll allow us to add the background imagery from Bing. So I'm going to come down right here under Drawing Settings, Units and Zone, where it says Available Coordinate Systems. You can see right now it's set to No Datum, No Projection. And so we want to change that. So up here we're going to come down. We're going to say USA California right here in this box, Categories. And then it's going to load a whole bunch of zones. And the zone we want to use is uh, State Plane Zone 3 feet, and we just want the vanilla. This is kind of the vanilla flavor of that, so right here is what we want. Nat 83, California State Plane Zone 3 U.S. feet, Stockton's in Zone 3, that's where most of my work is, is Zone 3. Do a little bit in Tune 4, but most of it's in Zone 3. And we're just going to um, want to make sure this is Survey Foot when you're done, and uh, we're going to say OK. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and save this drawing. So let's do that. Oh, and this, if you ever get this in CAD, it means your file dialog environment variable is not set right, where it's not giving you a graphical prompt. So to fix that, you just hit File Dia. And then you can see it's set to zero. We want to set it to one. And now we can do our save as. And it should bring us up a dialog. All right, so I've got a spot to save this. For now, I'm gonna we're gonna actually set up our. Uh, we're going to set up a project folder, but for right now, uh, I'm just going to save this here. I don't have a project folder structure set up yet, but we'll do that. All right, so we're going to call this, uh, for now, I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to call this primary sheets drawing. And the reason we're starting with the sheets in this and not the base layers is is uh, we want to figure out what our limits are going to be, our mapping limits, and then our orientation of our viewport and our scale. So we want to do that first in this case. All right, so when you set your coordinate system, you're going to get this geolocation button. It should show up on your ribbon. You need to be logged in to Autodesk to do this. You can see I am logged in. And so we're going to go ahead and say, let's see... 
right here under online maps. We're going to say map off. We want map aerial. It's going to say, do you want to use online map data? Yes. Now, sometimes when you have a blank drawing, it has a little trouble. So sometimes you've got to enter, enter a, yeah, it's going to have a hard time. So because I don't have any line work in here yet, it, it's, it's going to struggle with this a little bit. So here's the trick we're going to do. We're just going to enter a point. Just doesn't know how to load that imagery because it doesn't know where we're at. And I'm just going to create a dummy point. And we're going to select that. And then we're going to go ahead and add something that I know. So I know my coordinates are uh, 2 million by 6 million northing easting. So I'm going to do something close. Doesn't like that comma. All right, so then we'll zoom extents, and it should uh, that should prompt it to load the imagery. All right, guys, I couldn't get it to work with a point, so I just entered a line, and you can see I put the start coordinates there. And as soon as you get close to the zone, it'll pull up your imagery, which is what we wanted. So then you can delete your line. The line just worked a little better than a point there. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to zoom in here on Stockton. And it takes a little bit for this imagery to load. And uh, I'm going to focus on the downtown area. And so this is basically our downtown right here. Uh, but in my in my base map, I want to kind of capture the waterfront too. So I'm actually going to... I want to basically capture this area right here. Now I have some higher resolution imagery uh, that's going to load. So I don't got to get super high res on this. Um, but we're going to go ahead. We'll get we'll get something close. So you can see as I zoom in here, it loads a little higher, higher value on the imagery. So that looks like a pretty good, pretty good zoom level right there. So then the, it has this little toggle here called Capture Viewport. So we're just going to hit that, and uh, you'll see what that does in a minute. And then I'm just going to pan along here, and uh, I'm going to capture the areas I need. You'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. Okay. That just about covers what we need. We're going to go ahead and grab some more around the freeway here. All right, that's probably good. So once you've captured those, you can actually turn your map off, and uh, you're just going to have your tiles left. And I like to put those on a layer. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, open up our layers. So I got a little bit of layer cleanup to do. You can see uh, my template comes in with all these layers, which is no bueno. So <laughs> we're going to just grab all those and merge them to layer zero and then uh, we'll create a couple more layers here while we're in this dialog all right so then I want to make a couple new layers so I'm gonna make one called images GIS background I might even put Bing on there because I'm going to have some different image layers probably. And then we're going to make another uh, layer for our sheets. A couple layers for our sheets. So and those, those are going to be pretty simple to start. So we're going to say layer or lines, paper edge. Uh, and then I want one more. We're going to call uh, lines margin. Okay, and we're going to make those some different colors. I'm not worried about the line weights of these yet. I just want to get some different colors so I can tell stuff apart. And we will we'll set up some uh, some proper colors here in a in a minute. Maybe not this video, but all right. So then I'm just going to grab all my tiles and uh, I'm going to 
drop them on my GIS image layer. Okay, so now I've got my background set up and uh, I'm going to go in and uh, we're going to set up the sheet. Let's get these image frames turned off. Uh, I can't remember if the command is iframes. Maybe it's map iframe. Yeah, so map by frame, if you hit that, it, it, uh, it'll let you toggle off your... Now you don't see those lines for the image tile boundaries. Okay, so we've basically got everything I need here. Uh, you know, I think I might need some more. We're going to need a little more right here. So let's go ahead and grab that. So let's go back to our geolocation. And we're going to turn our aerial back on. And I know I'm going to need a little more of this area in here. So let's do capture viewport. We'll turn this back off. Yeah, there we go. So you can tell my map's going to be kind of long and skinny in the east-west direction. So we'll have to remember that when we lay out our sheet, we're going to want a landscape view, not a profile view. All right, so I'm going to do another video, and uh, let's save this. Uh, we'll do a second video because I like to keep these about 10 minutes, and we'll, uh, we'll create the sheets and uh, we'll get this thing oriented.